Hey and welcome to Discard. Today I'm going to talk about the best shelf for displaying and being able to play your top loading consoles. Let's take a look. So recently I made a video where I talked about the TV side of my game room and I've been slowly setting that up and I found that I needed a solution for top loading consoles. Up to this point I've been using the top of my TV stand as a great place to put my top loading consoles because I didn't have a shelf that these would fit inside of and still be able to insert and take out the cartridges. So I quickly found that a lot of people were using these cube style shelves and a lot of those people were using the Kalax shelf from Ikea. So I grabbed one myself to check it out and see what all was available for it as well. So the first thing that I noticed is that this is a very sturdy shelf. I think it's made out of some sort of particle board, but by and far, Ikea has a very strong particle board compared to some of its competitors like Walmart. Ikea shelves in general typically hold up a very long time and have very little bowing or breaking. Also spent very little time putting my shelf together. Mine's pretty small. It took me about 15 minutes to get it all put together and ready to go. A thing that they do have available is other color choices. I believe they have brown, black, white, and another color available in there as well. And these kind of are available with a sheen to them or just a flat style. But of course, the thing that draws most people to these is that they have these large cubes that are perfect for top loading consoles. Having that big space allows you to be able to put your hand in there and stick a cartridge into your console and be able to take it out with ease. It is a lot of space that's above there and almost too much, but it's perfect for those top loaders. Overall, I was very impressed with the shelf and I would certainly recommend it just as a base shelf for putting these consoles into. But while I was looking at this Kalax shelf, I also found that it has a ton of different attachments from Ikea. So I decided to pick a few of those up and also test them out. The first addition that I tried to this console was this gray insert. This gray insert is kind of a plastic material. It shows up in a bunch of different parts. and You kind of put them all together and make this awesome shelf with a bunch of little dividers in it. This insert is pretty shallow in depth, just a few inches. It's about perfect for a Switch game to be put into. The way that this shelf works is that it actually has a clip on the outside that will attach to another shelf or the shelf right next to it and it will kind of clip into that shelf. And that's great because it's not hurting the shelf and it's not really a permanent solution where you're screwing it onto the shelf. It's just simply sitting there and held in place quite firmly. Personally, I really like having a bunch of dividers between things that allows you to kind of break things up and put a bunch of different items into one space. And that's why I really liked this one overall. One of the spaces in this is just perfect for Nintendo Switch games. You could also use DS or 3DS games in here, but just know that there's gonna be a lot of headspace above those. Now for the time being, this insert only comes in the color gray, which is kind of a smart color to pick because the other color choices for the actual shelf are black and white for the majority, and this kind of will fit into those perfectly. One of the great things about this insert is that since it's so shallow, you can take it out and put things behind it and you could put some cords back there or other things in your collection that maybe just don't fit elsewhere or maybe they don't look great being displayed in a collection. But overall, I was really impressed with this one. I'm certainly gonna be using this one in my personal collection for a bunch of little doodads. I think it works great for that and I definitely recommend it. The next insert and my personal favorite insert for this shelf is this gray slide-in insert. This insert, when I first originally saw it, I saw that it kind of sticks out a little bit and I kind of didn't like it. I wasn't sure if this would fit into the shelf nicely. I, I thought it sticking out would look pretty bad, but I decided to try it anyway because I saw it in some other photos and I wanted to give it a try. And I have to say that this thing is amazing. If you put this into your shelf, you'll have a space underneath it and above it that will allow you to put top loaders in each spot. I used a Super Nintendo on the top and on the very bottom I have my N64 and it's quite easy to get to those cartridges and put them in and take them out. And since I have this kind of dividing up my shelf, I can use those remaining spaces for whatever I need them for. On my shelf specifically, I used three pop figures that I had kind of lying around and then I also added some DS and 3DS games and some PS Vita games. Another reason that I love this so much is because the, the shelves themselves, these cube style shelves are quite large. So you get a ton of space above those consoles and it's really too much space. It doesn't look really great. And just filling that in by using this really changed that shelf completely. To be specific about it, one of the big problems with having that much headspace is that you're kind of looking at the back of the shelf. 
And in this case, there is no back of the shelf. And since you're using consoles, you'll have a lot of wiring back there. And a great way to minimize looking at that wiring is by shrinking the shelf size. And in that way, you won't be able to see as many of those wires back there. So really, I could see this being used for a ton of different things. And you could fit a ton of different things from your game collection in there, CDs, all sorts of stuff. So this is a great solution to really maximizing the value of that shelf and it's not too expensive. And I definitely ended up kind of liking the look of having it stick out a little bit at the front. It looks really nice because it kind of breaks up the shelf. It adds something different to it. The next insert definitely may not be for everyone. And this is a insert designed for bottles. This one's definitely marketed as kind of a wine bottle holder. It would be great for putting wine bottles in, but in our case, I found that it works fantastic for small knickknacks. A lot of people have small figures or different items around their collection that are just small and they wanna display them. And this would be a really great way to kind of break those up and give each one of them their own spot. Specifically, I used my Amiibo in these and I really fell in love with how they looked on this shelf. Giving each Amiibo its own location looks really good and really makes it look professional. Definitely one of the downsides to this is that you're only putting one Amiibo at the front. So you have all of that space behind that Amiibo that's not taken up. And that can be kind of a waste unless you're kind of filling each tube with a ton of different Amiibo, or maybe you're putting something behind them but I don't see that quite happening and it doesn't look that great. I even found that this worked great with some of your pop figures as well as some of your good smile company figures seem to work fantastic inside of these. And definitely regardless of any of the negatives with it and the loss of space, I plan to use this myself when I get another Kalax down the line. And I got a couple other inserts and these are hanging inserts. The first hanging insert that I got is this wire basket insert. This insert kind of slides over the top of the shelf above it and will click back into itself on the back to hold it securely. This was definitely marketed as a place to hold magazines and I would certainly recommend it as that. I tested out some of my Nintendo Power magazines in there and I could see this being a really cool way to have some Nintendo Power magazines on hand so if you wanna grab one out of there and look at some of that nostalgia, you'd be good to go with that. But the most important thing about having one of these hanging items is that it will fill in that upper space, that kind of top space above your console that doesn't get taken up by anything else. And really you don't need all that space and this is a perfect solution to kind of fill that in. I definitely tried some books in here as well and it works great for those too. But I would recommend this more as a magazine holder. It's just a great place to put some of those Nintendo powers. The other attachment I got was this fabric hanging attachment. This one's made completely out of fabric and has two straps that will attach to the shelf that's above it. This one has the ability to go over the very top shelf, which is pretty thick, and the middle shelf, which is a thin shelf. And it'll have two different snaps depending on which one you're putting it on, so it'll fit snugly on there. For all greater purposes, this is just a hammock for different items in your game collection. And that's just how I treated it. It seems like a good spot to kind of have a quick grab zone. If you wanted to put a controller in there that you use often, or if you wanted to put a plushie in there that you want to be able to grab out of there quickly and put onto your couch, this might be a great way to do that. Of course, again, this takes up that top space that kind of gets not filled up by your other consoles. It's just a great solution to kind of filling that in. I definitely tried putting a bunch of different controllers into this. It's not something I would definitely recommend because they kind of rub against each other and it doesn't overall look that great. But I would say that it's a good solution to putting a bunch of your plushies in there. You can kind of pop them all in there and it's a good spot to hold them. I'm not so sure about the plushies or how happy they were. And that's the end of the ones that I personally tested out. But on Ikea's website, you can find these Lekman cubes that kind of slide into those shelves and are just a quick way to kind of store things and put them away and be able to take them out whenever you need to. They also have a two drawer insert, which this inserts into your shelf and makes it so you can open two different drawers out of it. And that looks pretty easy to do as well. One that I wish I'd gotten is this glass shelf insert, which kind of divides up each shelf. And I'm not quite sure on how this one works. You might be able to put a top loading console on top of this depending on where you can put this shelf inside of your shelf. And the last one for people who really want to keep the dust off their collection, they have one that has a door on the front. And this is just another insert that slides into that shelf and suddenly you will have a door at the front that you can close and kind of keep that dust out of your collection. But possibly one of the best reasons to go after this shelf specifically is because it's so well known. You can go to places like Etsy and find all sorts of different inserts and add-ons that people have made themselves and are selling, and it's just awesome. I even saw one where a lady was putting her cat into her shelf. There are definitely serious benefits to getting a shelf like this specifically from Ikea, 
and then you have access to all of those attachments and all of those aftermarket parts that people are making. So overall, the quality of the shelf is pretty high. You can put a ton into this shelf and really divide it up however you want it to be. But most importantly, you can personalize it to your collection and what you have going on with all of these attachments that they have for it. So thanks for coming to checking out Discard today. If you have any other ideas for displaying things in a game room or game collection, please let me know in the comments below. I am always looking for more ideas. If you want to help out Discard past the subscription, please check out patreon.com slash discard. Check out all the awesome stuff you can get for $2 a month. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. But otherwise, have a great day and collect what you love.